a music festival, I believe, also. Uh, they were sent notices that they could not have this event. The property owners were sent notices that they could not have this event. This event then turned into what it was, a workshop, I believe it was? <coughs> that was their term. Oh. So, they were going to have a, per se, workshop is what they were going to call it instead of a three-day festival. Yes. So, so they changed the wording of what they wanted to have so they could still have something. Because they weren't going to have a festival anymore. They were going to have a workshop. So as I went by on Saturday and spoke to a little young girl, there was no traffic back up. Um, there was a young lady that was there at the gate with a radio. And as I observed the field of vision, there was a good time to be had by all. I didn't see any stands or anything that were set up. But like I said, there was a couple of tents here, a tent here, a, a, a lean or canopy or whatever else. And everybody was having a very peaceful time. I don't think we got a call on it at all or anything else, but it was not what they eventually said it was going to be, but then it also turned into something also that shouldn't have been there because then the question is, what is the general public going to do when they're having their whatever they wanted to call it? So something did take place. I don't know what it was, and as far as me, it was an organized party. If it was any definition of mine, it was an organized party. But I guess if we as a board, they violated the board's policy. If the board does not seek a criminal complaint because they did that, then that they, might send the message that the board doesn't have a problem with what they, they did. They violate the board's policy. They violated the law. Well, they violated There's the law. There's a big but, difference. Well, okay, they violated the law, but the board is the one that they, you know, that, that they, yeah. Yes, that, because they did still have something. Yes, right. they did. And if we don't we file a complaint, sure. we could be saying that could be taken as we don't we don't have a problem with what they did. Absolutely. Yeah. But as far as meeting the criteria that I read in that older document that Mr. Fenton was talking about, it did not meet that that criteria that I knew of how to enforce. Right. And that's why nothing was done, but the peace was kept okay. as far as that, that was, uh, stopping by. Right. So at this point, what staff is asking the board to do. At this point, what staff is asking the board to do is to pass in, uh, or requesting that we file a criminal complaint on the 49-8A and on the 49-8B against the property owners so that they will not continue having these programs uh, until they at least take care of whatever it was that they did wrong in the first place. Well, here Here's the issue, a couple issues. If you simply want us to write a letter, I can do that. It's got no enforcement authority whatsoever related to what happened. We can send them a letter that says, you, you know, you were advised of this event, you had an event anyway, don't do it again. Under 49.8b, there are still two events that the board has now denied, that it's entirely possible those events can be held. If you want to make sure that they aren't held, then the appropriate action would be to, under 49-8B, is to go to the circuit court and seek an injunction or other remedy available to the board to ensure that those events don't happen. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to do that, then we will see this weekend and next weekend whether those events do occur question would be what what grounds would we have based on uh, Deputy Crowder's uh, I'm sorry uh, Chapman's uh, comment Carrie Carrie I'm sorry Carrie but anyway the deputy that just spoke his his comment said it in his determination it did not violate the ordinance that we uh, had in place now he is he's the enforcement officer for uh, Caroline County. So if it does not meet that criteria in his judgment, then what do you think a judge is going to say? It's going to say they didn't violate your ordinance. It's that, that's possible. The, um, but the definition in the ordinance of the musical or entertainment festival and what is prohibited without a permit is any gathering of groups or individuals for the purpose of listening to or participating in entertainment 
which consists primarily of musical renditions conducted in open space, not within an enclosed structure. And it, from what I'm hearing, it sounds to me like that happened. Whether they call it a workshop or not, they're they're primarily so listening to musical you, renditions. Has, somebody in, has in a the party open. at their house with music outside. Um, you know, I don't. But, but the house isn't a campground. No, it's not a campground. And, and they probably this, didn't this charge an entrance fee. Right. right. Yeah. There's I think no that's, charge. That's probably the key to the charge. You know. Charge. Uh, no, we're getting kind of lost here because there was a lot of people that bought the fight a couple of weeks ago and charged people to come to their house. Same kind of thing. No, the in house Caroline? is in the campground. Huh? Caroline? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so basically, how does the board want to? To address this issue, do you want to file a criminal complaint as was requested, or do you want to just not do it? We have to. Rather than the judge laugh at us, I think we send them a letter on A, and then on B, if they show up with with DJs in a stage, I mean that's clearly going to be the music festival. And what does the landowner have? Nothing to the landowner? It's okay for the landowner? What do you mean it's okay for the landowner? The landowner rented his facility out. But I thought we were filing a complaint against the landowner. He said the applicant. Right? Well, it's both no, it's the landowner and the promoter. And the landowner. landowner and the promoter. Yeah, now, yeah. now it makes a little more sense. Okay. So can we get a motion? Are we just going to sit here it's getting late? Floyd was going to make a motion. Letter for A and authorize staff and the sheriff's office to ensure compliance for future events under B. I mean, if this is going to continue, if we yes, wanted to continue. Down. Yeah, now, I think, I think you're absolutely correct, because we're not going to take some action to make sure that we've not treated those young people uh, fairly. I really don't think so. Yeah, and we haven't treated them fairly. May I make a motion? Well, I, if I can get a second, I would move that we um, do a Criminal complaint 49-8A and 49-8B, a criminal complaint against the property owners uh, for the April, I believe, 17th um, program that was held that violated the Caroline County policy or code, if I can get a second. Get on the table a second. Yeah. Did you? I second it. Okay. It's been moved in pro the question. It's been moved in proper a second that we uh, secure a criminal complaint on the 49 8A and 49 8B for the operation of activities that violated the Carolina County Code. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Nay. Nay. Uh, okay, a, a roll call vote. <laughs> Mr. Thomas, how do you vote? Nay. Mr. Black? Nay. Mr. Underwood? Nay. Mr. Aiken? Aye. Mr. Seeley? Nay. And I vote out. So that fails. How do you want to handle it? My primary concern is how do we get compliance? So we don't end up with <coughs> this going on on a regular basis because it's going to start and it's going to get worse and we're going to be sitting here in, in three months going, what are we going to do? To me, you get compliance by, uh, by calling the people that, that have violated the ordinance, hold them responsible. If you do not, they were told in advance you could not have it. It's not like we waited until after the festival said, hey, you shouldn't have had that. It, we but, told them in advance. But that Sergeant Carey's already said that there was really <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Lieutenant Carey, I'm sorry, said that there, there was really nothing going on 
that, that warranted a violation. Is that but our, attorney, our, our attorney said, said, in his opinion, the attorney was, said differently. Well, there was, there, like I said, there was music playing, but there was nothing that I knew of as far as reading the statute. If, if, if something is not done about this thing, this is going to happen every weekend. And it's not going to be peaceful. It's going to get out of hand. So we need to do something with it. They were told they couldn't have this thing. Have they were told they couldn't have it. And it, it switched from one thing to something else that was a little bit less. So they skated the system. But and it doesn't attorney, need to happen. Excuse me, sir. But our attorney said, according to the definition, it was a clear violation. That's what we pay him to do. He, so he says that it was a violation. So, I mean... We also, we're not gonna, we also pay them to enforce the law. Well, if but, he says, I don't but, think but, but he's the law enforcement officer, but if, our attorney is the one who if, advises us. Right. Right? If, you go, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you go to court to seek an injunction or whatever, or, or the fine from the court, then you would have um, evidence probably in the form of testimony presented before the court, and the court would... Um, determine from the facts that they hear whether or not the event was in fact a musical event as defined by the ordinance and then uh, act accordingly. Um, so what we're doing at this point is, is, is predetermining that when if, if you really do want to um, make an example of this particular event, past event, so that it doesn't happen in the future without going through the proper um, process of obtaining permits, etc., then, um, y you know, it would make sense, it seems to me, to go to the court, make the arguments, present the evidence, evidence and argue that, in fact, with, with all due respect to yes, the officer, that that and let the court decide if it thought it, there was a violation or not and and you know what you call something arose by any other name is still real I mean it, it, what you what you name something is not determinative of what it of what it is and I know I'm not sure that we have heard enough detail about what actually took place that in the past and that weekend to make a determination but we have all we're going to have. I mean, not, that's... No, we don't, Mr. Sewell. With all due respect, we'd go into a great deal of specific questions about, about you know, what, what, what type of facility was this music coming from? Was it indoors? Was it outdoors? Were people wandering around? Were there, was there more than one person there? You know, was music playing? Was music playing all day long for four hours, what have you. There are a whole lot of factual questions that would be asked, and if you want to sit here for another hour, we can start asking them, but, but, but what you should do is let someone go to court if you want to stop, if you want a final determination on this, you should go to the court, have the evidence presented in front of a judge, and have the judge make a, a determination as to whether or not you've met the burden of proof uh, as to as to whether this was a musical event or not, and if it was not, then there's no violation. If it was, then there's a violation. But if I were the people who just but left here, I would change the name of what I'm going to do and go ahead and pay y'all. Absolutely, let's right. do what Absolutely. I want to do. That, but the, I think that's because the, our ordinance is toothless. But we can't do anything about that tonight. Right. But, but that's the future that we need to fix. You know, I don't think I don't think wasting money in court, as Jeff said, to have the judge laugh at us, is going to benefit us in any great deal. With with all due respect, I don't think the court would laugh at you. I really don't. Okay, is your meter going to be running for free? <laughs> <laughs> but again, no, no, uh, you Mr. Know. Taylor, if you will understand, if your meter's not running for free, I'm going to spend a lot of money to make a point. Why don't I just invest my time? smartly and fix the ordinance. I can't go over that bridge. The water's over that dam already. Let's fix our ordinance. That's going to be the most cost-effective thing we do. But how do, how do we fix the ordinance? Uh, I'm not sure as to how we can fix it. What we talked about in the beginning was we would fix 
well, as to how they could go to court. Right now it says the board may. And yeah. that was the issue we were trying to fix. I don't know that the examples or the, the wording in the ordinance determining what a festival is, is going to, can be fixed. I don't Mr. think it can be changed. Mr. Fincham just told us this was a Woodstock ordinance. Now you and I, Mr. Underwood and Mr. Taylor, I'm sure, were all around in 1970. We have a changed a great deal since around, 1970. Woodstock. The rest of things should change. We need to change it. That's all it is. What wording could we change in the ordinance that would spell yeah. out the type of festival festivals we don't want? You know, and, and again, with all due respect, and, and we've not passed the, 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 the motion, so we probably just need to move on. All right, but if, my other point if, is the fact that should we not contact the people and say, hey, maybe what you're having is not considered a festival in, in, uh, as far as our ordinance is concerned, and you can go ahead and do what you want to do this weekend and next weekend. I mean, that's what, yeah, cause we've, what, do we, what do they have to lose? I, I, guess, I guess the thing that concerns me not, is not we have said, they don't have anything to lose. we've said that, uh, that they were told they could not have the, 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 the festival and they had it anyway. So we don't want to file a complaint against them for doing that. So if we're not going to file a complaint against doing that, then let the other people go ahead and do what they want to do. But you, we could go, we, we know they violated it once. We could go to the magistrate this week and say, they've come, they've asked for one, they did one illegally, they've come, we've turned them down. If they show up, then we can solve that. To me, that would be proactive. It gives the sheriff's office, you all know what we, You've all been here tonight. You know what the discussion has been. Um, that would be 40B, which is go to, go to the magistrate, say they've asked for something. We've told them they can't do this. You know, I'm going to go with what Mr. Underwood said. If it walks like a duck, it quacks like a duck, it looks like a duck, it's a duck. If they've got music going outside loud, there are people milling around. They've put up all these speakers. That's technically outdoor music, which you're going to call a festival. Mr. Then, Carey, is that true? Yes, sir. When, if you saw that, you would call that an outdoor music festival. Yeah. I mean, the ambiguity is gone. Well, let me change up. what I said now. What the county attorney said, it meets the criteria. Sometime in my business, when I'm not familiar with something, you have to err on the side of caution. Uh, That's I what I did. I agree. I if I had to take this to court, I would feel very comfortable with getting a conviction on what has been said here tonight and the county attorney educating me on now what I know is, is, is what happened. And, that and that's exactly, exactly what point. happened. If, if the and attorney they, says that this is what we should do, then I think we but, are. But I, I think, think we should go with 40B, get an injunction, but make sure this doesn't, and if, if they, they prop up speakers and they put up a stage, again, then they're in violation. And, and we're all, I mean, we have two lieutenants <laughs> sitting here tonight that both understand the whole discussion, which I think is probably more than And I understand, and I won't say any more after this, but. He's the attorney. We are paying him to give us advice. Why are we second guessing? He has said what we need to do. I'll, if we're not, going, let to, me make if we're not going to take his advice, why is he? I'll here? make a motion that we adopt 40B and and have planning go to the go to the magistrate and and what do we need to get Mr. Fincham? The pending ones. Because I'm with Mr. Thomas. The water's over the dam on the other, and it's going to be tough. I would say that we, we work with the county attorney's office to, uh, to secure a restraining order or otherwise prevent a violation of this chapter. An injunction from circuit court. Can yeah. we get that between now and Friday? Probably. Huh? It, it may be you can get a, we could try get a hearing we could try to judge, get before the judge which but. judge do we have to have general district or circuit circuit, circuit. so yeah, it's, it's a circuit court, court judge, judge. Ran us 30 minutes for a hearing and i don't know if they're sitting in caroline this week she's or not. here on friday so that's 49-8 40 what is it 49-8 subparagraph b because that's the only way we're going to put any teeth. We've got to stop one. Yeah. 
that, that's my motion as we go and we get get the and try to get the injunction and and stop that one and at least put a line in the sand there we need a second okay then I'm with mr. I'm with mr. Underwood you call those folks and tell them do whatever they want because absolutely and we need to fix the ordinance, and we start trying to fix the ordinance, and just let these people do what they want to do, and from now on, we, we try to fix it. So, yeah, okay. Mr. Pitcher, do you have that number? Those, those people that were here. Okay, so we are going to allow the, the uh, people who were here to go ahead with that festival. I mean, you can't we also anything. Well, and, and also, do we need to grant them the permit? Well, I, I mean, I don't think you can call them and tell them to go ahead with an illegal festival activity. I don't, I don't think you can. I think you have to either be silent or you have to, um, as to that, or and go with what your prior decision was, or you would have to change that and actually grant them the permit. Otherwise, they're still in violation of the law. They live in Yorktown, though. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion we grant them uh, a permit, uh, uh, each each group, separate group, uh, a permit to hold their festivals. Uh, is there a second? 15th through the 17th and uh, the 20, whatever that date is. Is there a second? Just clarification, Mr. Chairman. We just voted. No it, but nothing passed. So yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, you did. If we voted four to two to, to deny. Oh, the request. Right. Right. No. Yeah. No. It's five to one. Five to one. It was five to one. In favor of. Well, you voted against it, right? Denying that. Right. So, so. So, so you did was that? Whoever voted when the affirmative of that motion could ask. Could reconsider it, yeah. do a motion to reconsider, and if that passes, yeah. so then the you motion can change it. Okay. Yes. All right. Sir. That's, that's my motion. Okay, it's been motion to reconsider the uh, motion that was to deny the request. Is there a second? Second. All right, it's been moved and properly second that we would um, we would revisit the motion that denied the request. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 All opposed. Nay. Nay. Mr. Thomas, how do you vote? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> okay, the motion on the floor is to de is to revisit the motion that was made to deny right. the request. We're making a motion to reconsider. Re yeah. to, to, re to, re to revisit something. To revisit the motion. The, the term for the motion. I'm not sure. But you can go ahead and by the time you get to you, I'll make up my mind. Mr. Black, how do you vote? I voted nay. So we are voting against the denial. Okay. Mr. Against the reconsider. We wish to reconsider. Okay, Mr. Underwood. Aye. Mr. Akins. Aye. Mr. Seal. Nay. I vote nay. Oh, I was going to vote. Oh, you don't make no difference. Makes no difference, Dan. So. I just think we've done the motion to reconsider doesn't. Pass motion to reconsider three. three. So we, 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 just, we move on. We can't seem to come to a decision on the, how we want to handle this. So we've, we, we've, we've actually voted that they uh, are denied the request. So they don't have the, so they, they do not get the uh, request that they ask for. So if they go ahead and do it anyway, they will be in violation because of the motion that we made. Just like the people that did it the first time. I guess of the, of the ordinance. We voted based on, well, I know, but we still voted that they couldn't do it, so. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. Mr. Taylor, could I make a motion now that I think we'd all agree on is that, that we direct staff to revisit our current ordinance oh, sure. and to improve it? Sure. So that's second. the motion? The mood and public second that we direct staff to revisit our current ordinance. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 All opposed, motion carries. Staff will revisit our current ordinance 
as far as this particular issue is concerned, we, we denied that request, so it stands at that. Can we put the last thing on? It's 20 to 12. Yeah. Informational is calendar that, items. We've listened. There's nothing you can oh, do about this. I'm sorry. We did it through, we Agenda did it item 14. Do we have to do it tonight? Yes. Yeah, it has to be done in May. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Yes, we, we would recommend, and King George has already done um, classification D. That's the one that the, it's weighed most favorably for economic development. Yeah. The other ones, if you look at the way it spreads out, and it should be out, uh, Mr. Parton put it on your table tonight. The way those all weighed out is congestion and all these things that don't favor us well. So we feel like, we, and I'm sure it was the same thing King George, they wouldn't get any money if they were competing against all these areas with high congestion in, in those areas. So at least with our opportunities for economic development, we might get some money in the formula if we're weighted that way. Don't count on much. But if you, I think if you stay at cl the other classifications with the Northern Virginia localities, we won't get anything. They presented this at GWR. But the reality is we're competing against more popular, more congested areas for very few dollars. We all argued that with the VDOT people and got nowhere. I'm, so, I'm shocked. Talk to your governor. Is there a motion? Talk to your legislators first. <coughs> Is there a motion? So moved. Second. The moved in public second that the General Assembly House Bill Transportation Board Statewide Prioritization Project as presented. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 All opposed, motion carried. Information or calendar items. The only thing I'd like to point out um, we have the economic uh, EDA uh, business appreciation reception on the 21st, <coughs> 21st at Meadow event at the mansion. Um, 6 to 8 p.m. And I think the chamber's having something uh, that night as well, uh, sort of a combined dinner there on the same night. So your attendance would be much appreciated. Next meeting here is at 6 o'clock on the 26th, which is the Tuesday after Memorial Day Monday. Okay, if I could just ask, uh, there is a uh, mass meeting for the Democratic Party to choose its candidates on the 9th. And it's going to be in this building. And uh, I would request that maybe we delay our meeting for about an hour till after that mass meeting is held, if the board would <coughs> agree to that. Uh, June 9th. On June 9th. Right. June 9th. We need a motion for that. Why did they wait until the last day? The, the meeting is scheduled on June 9th. At what time? At 6 o'clock. If we could delay our meeting for an hour, we could start at 7 instead of 6. That would give, we have three candidates who are going to be uh, chosen at, at that caucus, so it's very important. Is it in the EOC rooms? Uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure which rooms it's going to be in because I think that's going to be determined according to the number of people that show up. But uh, well, you know said, that could go a lot longer than you think. Yeah. Well, it it could, but I mean, you know, we we don't want to change the meeting. So if we if we delay the meeting for an hour, if they got to choose a candidate, seven o'clock the deadline. Exactly. Until the night, that's yeah. a deadline. Yeah. So there got to so, be. Yeah, so it can't it can't go. No, 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 it's no, the deadline's the tenth, isn't it? Is it nine? No, the yeah. deadline is the ninth. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, the it's deadline like is seven o'clock usually. So they have a long yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. So June the seventh. Are you all having something that night? No, not that night. Oh, okay. I would never wait until. Okay. okay. All right. So, is it consensus of the uh, board but, that we delay uh, the meeting my only until question seven? Is what happens if you guys go longer? Because we're not going to be able to wait until eight o'clock to start the meeting. We'll need to be here at seven o'clock. Uh, the the, the uh, it has to be done by seven o'clock. June 9th, 7 o'clock is when the candidates have to be the candidates have to be filed by that time. I'll send you notice. I've got to, I just have to figure so all that I out. So I assume it is the consensus of the board that we do that. Are we going to do away with dinner? Well, we can, yeah. Since we're starting that late, yeah. there's going to be a bunch of stuff going yeah. on back there. Right. So we won't have dinner that night because there'll be too much going on. Right. Yeah, That's because right. everybody's on their own that night. Right. So, so we'll, we'll uh, and it's a break. We could have started yeah. Uh, 
Are we done? Well, Y'all got to vote on that, though. Whatever okay. you need to change your meeting time, you got to. Okay. Need a motion. Okay, we need to vote on the change in the meeting time. If I can get a. Uh, Second. No, I'm, you got to get a motion, motion first. Mr. Chairman, I move that we change our uh, meeting time to 7 o'clock on June the 9th. Second. We move the proper second that we would change our meeting time on June 9th from, the, from 6 o'clock to 7 p.m. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 All opposed. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Okay. Uh, closing board comments. Mr. Thomas. Mr. Black. Mr. Underwood? Mr. 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 Akers? No, sir, Mr. Chairman. No, sir, Mr. Chairman. I have none as well. Move for Motion adjourn. to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Move to adjourn.